Yo, what is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to uh, the show, the podcast, YouTube channel. My name is Kenny. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I just want to start off right off the bat by saying I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate all the support last week. Last week was my first ever box break. And for a channel that does not have a lot of subscribers, you guys showed out. All right, 200 and some odd views, and I know that's not exactly earth-shattering performance, but hey, for my first Bach break with terrible um, graphic skills and, you know, just kind of learning the knowledge, I, again, I thoroughly appreciate it. Things will only get better from here. I promise this is just step one along the journey. So, second order of business, again, I'm going to plug, because this is my YouTube channel, if you like MLB The Show, the video game franchise on PlayStation, um, coming soon to Xbox and Nintendo Switch, we think. Check out my podcast, the show, the podcast. I talk about everything, analysis, opinions, content creation, the whole nine about that game. Interview content creators. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a weekly podcast that's on hiatus for a couple of weeks just because I'm in the process of getting a new computer. So that's been quite a, quite a process. But I won't bore you with the details. You guys are here today for the Tops Heritage High Number Baseball Card Packs. So I've got two hanger boxes. Let me grab the other one here. Two hangers, as you can see in the top right corner of each hanger, 27 total cards, three nine-card packs. Going to open those momentarily. Um, this is the last set of 2020. So the 2021 top to base set that's coming out February 10th. I've pre-ordered a box. Hopefully that comes pretty close to the release day. Um, so the ones we want from this box here, the cards numbered 701 to 725s are the short prints. Uh, there are some very interesting cards in here. There are cards that have missing signatures. Uh, obviously, they're printed on signatures. The real signatures, the real autographs are on card, and they are in a different color. Um, pen, Sharpie. Uh, there are some error cards, some relic cards. These came out at the end of December, so I know I'm a little late to the game here. Um, but I saw them at my local Walmart. They were $24.98 each. So I figured, you know, what the heck? I haven't been able to find them anywhere else. I haven't seen them yet, so I grabbed them. Um, but that's it. That's really, I mean, there are some, there are some impossibly difficult cards to get in here. Uh, as you can see, one in 183,000. I mean, things that would just be stellar to get. We're not obviously banking on those. Let's just hope for some good pulls. Luis Robert, of course, is always the rookie you're looking for in this year's set. Um, so let's get in here. I've got my scissors handy. Hopefully I don't cut myself. You know what? Scissors might not have been the play. There we go. That'll work. Next time I might use the razor blade. Um, as you guys can see, too, I got a new ring light here. So if it's a little too bright, please let me know. And in the next video, I can uh, put the setting down a little bit. But I wanted to illuminate this place. Show, show off these cards. So here we go. Three. Oh, this one's stuck. Three packs. Nine cards each. And then we'll open the second box. So let's see, send me your vibes, send me your luck, and I'm already opening them on the wrong side. So, great start. Let's go up to the top here. Send me your good vibes, boys and girls, please. I need them. So we're going to go, here's what we're going to do. Also, quick uh, suspense break here. We're going to look at all the front of the cards and then flip them around and look to see if they're short prints, 701 to 725. Robinson Chirinos, Jimmy Cordero, Yandy Diaz. Aaron Bummer, who is a glitch to use if you play MLB The Show. So this is a fun one. Your Don Alvarez Rookie Award winner. Dallas Keuchel. John Bertie. Cameron Mabin. Michael Franco. Let's just quickly glance at these numbers here. Doesn't look like we have anything fantastic. Okay. First pack. Dud. I love the Topps Heritage because I love, well, the Heritage, so to speak. They, they, you know, they go right back and they show you the old card designs. And I think that's a great way to honor the history of card collecting. Jeez, this pack was hard to open. Um, okay, what do we got here? Miguel Andujar, who has basically been phased out of the Yankees' future. Tyler Clippard, former Yankee great himself. Adrian Hauser, I believe he's the dude who literally throws up on the mound all the time. Like, I think that's actually factual. So if you guys don't believe me, look that up. He's thrown up on the mound multiple times. Jacoby Jones was having a pretty decent year before he got hurt. Starling Marte, who's a Marlin now. 
uh, Manuel Margot, Shogo Akiyama rookie, Hyunjin Ryu, Emmanuel Classe rookie, and as I said before, I don't think we got anything, but let's just go back and check out the numbers. Oh, there's a short print, 703. That's fun. All right. Starling Marte short print. Put him to the side here. Okay, next pack. Last pack of that hanger box. I also like the feel of these cards. You know, they've got that cardboard feel. They're not as glossy. I don't know, they just feel nice. And some people might not agree with me on that, but I like the way they feel. Gerard Dyson. Eric Lauer. James Karinchak. He's a good rookie. Cody Stashik. Now and then, Stevie Wilkerson. Sebi Zavala. That's a name. Sean Armstrong. Brandon Drury. Keenan Middleton. All right, let's just check. 677, 689, 654, 504. All right. All right, so not a great first box. That's fine. We did get the short print Starling Marte. Now we're just going to, again, hopefully not cut fingers off. There we go. Make a little break in it. Rip it the rest of the way. I'm going to get better at opening these for you. This, this is for you guys watching, you know. Um, trying not to ruin anything here, as I already basically have. And here we go. Okay, three more packs. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Send me your vibes, please. Okay. Yandi Diaz again. Aaron Bummer again, Miguel Andujar again, Clippard, Kyle Lewis rookie performer. Okay, we like Kyle Lewis. Drew Steckenrider, Domingo Santana, Tim Locastro, Nomar Mazzara, who is an underperforming legend, I guess, because he's supposed to be very, very good and never, never really seems to be. He was on a good path in Texas, and then things kind of started going downhill for him. All right, two more. Two more. We got really lucky in last week's opening with the Hunter Pence auto. And this pack is going... Maybe this pack, because it's hard to open, will have the best stuff. Oh, man. Is this thing glued together? There we go. All right. Heat, heat, heat. Adrian Hauser throws up. Jacoby Jones. Alex Avila. Omar Narvaez. Jordan Lyles, Keichel, John Birdie. Is it two there? No. Cameron Mabin, Mike Alfranco. Any cards? Any short print ones? 718. A... Okay, sure. 718. Omar Narvaez, 696, 678, 648. When we're done opening this last pack, I'm going to go back to those other two cards we put aside there the Jordan Lyles and the Starling Marte. Just to see what's up with them as short print cards. Zach Wheeler. Ihire Adrianza. Mookie Betts. Sorry. Going back to my phone here. There we go. Mookie Betts. Didi. Love Didi. Pete Alonzo Award winner. Manuel Margot. Shogo Akiyama. Hyunjin Ryu. And Emmanuel Class A. So, on the surface here, doesn't look like we had two particularly good hanger boxes. Yep, okay, so let's go back to see these short prints. All right, so we have Starling Marte, Jordan Lyles. Again, the short prints were from 701 to 725. So we got a 703. And we've got a 718. So, again, you know, not the best pulls here. These were just hanger boxes. The larger hobby boxes, I believe, are guaranteed an auto or a relic. Um, but that's it. These are two pretty decent cards. Again, I love the Heritage line. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. Uh, would I have been happier with, a, with an auto or something like that? Of course. But happy to be making content for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this break. 
Um, again, they're going to only get better and better as we go. This was box break number two of my entire life here. Um, but that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't know what's coming next week. But you can bet that as soon as I get the 2021 tops, that's being broken for all of you. So thank you so much. Stay safe. Talk to you.